yes and welcome everybody this is just a quick beginner tutorial here uh, we'll see how we can create uh, a volume shader uh, via redshift in Houdini so this is a quick render of the bases just to demonstrate there is this another one let's see maybe this one this one I'm just showing here uh, how is the I separated the density and I moved the emission so we can see both of them separated from different angle okay so let's go and see how we can create so this is my scene here I just have a backdrop let me just go back so just small back drop I applied a material for it which I forget to highlight then I have here upstairs uh, redshift dome this is a dome light with uh, HDRI this is the HDRI I just hide it for now and here I have the setup the setup is straightforward first I have uh, a pyrobert source that uh, uh, makes it uh, it's type to a shock wave so it will spread just give it a second go closer here it is so I offset the shape and just mostly the default setup because I want to see the volume shader more than uh, the shockwave itself here I give it uh, a rasterize for the temperature velocity and density but here what I did in the output uh, element I prefix it so if you can see here a little bit burst density but anyway on the other hand I have three source first one is the main explosion let's go to the first frame let's give it a second So here, this is the first explosion. It is just an explosion going up. Second thing is a blast ring, just to add extra shape and to disturb the overall shape of the volume. See. And the third one is. it load is another shock wave okay so this one I merge them together let's go to a frame burn density velocity <coughs> I rasterize them so I have burn density and temperature and here because I have the same value burn density and temperature uh, either in case you have another line you can rename your uh, volume because they are at name so if you can see here I just rename them the burn I name it FF 
the velocity vf and the density ready but the idea is in case you have another one or separated line so you can rename them just not rely on the pairs uh, density pairs because this is by default it will give you a new ticket and then <coughs> I went to the bar solver let me just and view it so here the main thing this is the voxel size the lower the more detail you will get the longer time it will take to render but here in the sourcing by default it will give you like uh, density and density but here I specify it like I added another volume I want this first density for the shock wave to go to density I want fatty to go also to density and you can change the scaling also you have the temperature the flame flame or burn should be burn burn not flame anyway and the velocity vv we have to velocity and I make it as ball after that I cache it so this is the cache file and the way I cache it is using in the export here I make sure it is converted to VDB 16 bit float redshift can work with uh, native Houdini volume but this one just to minimize the size so as you can see disable this so this is the shock wave it's another frame cool then I applied material to it now regarding the material I went to the material and in the material here uh, what I did I went and created redshift material volume builder inside it I remove this one and uh, in the volume because when you are inside the redshift uh, node it will filter out any other uh, renderer shader so this is what you can use with uh, redshift so I use a volume and in the volume Maybe let me go here so you can see it clear material this is where we add okay so this is the volume shader and this is uh, the output so I connected to volume okay next thing I need to do also uh, in the biro here let's call it properly biro shader 2 here I will select Pyro shader 2 so they are connected together and here first thing uh, three th three component to control density absorption and the emission and the emission here is we need to specify it as a flame okay let's go to the out and here uh, render output I'll just uh, fire up the render view so this is the render view let's, uh, let's see which frame we add let's take this frame and I will do IBR and this is what we get because still we need to play with it a little bit close one second So here in the let me did I refire, let me refire it again so in the emission I will choose 
the black to orange model so this initially what we get the density scatter coefficient the scatter it will tell you like uh, low value it will not scatter uh, a lot so the light will not go through it a lot higher value it will get more darker it will keep it at one and absorption the higher number the more denser the smoke will look see so the idea here these two parameters should be linked together so if i put this one five it's advisable to put this one also at five flame the higher the more light we will have okay so that's the first part second part in the advanced tab you can play with the old minimum and old max like if you use volume slice and you can check uh, the maximum or you can play with it let's say the minimum between two zero and two so i will uh, remap it between zero and ten so the uh, it get more dense emission also same thing let's say between one and three i will get 20. Just choose another frame. It's a straightforward. Just look at this one. The light is scattering also. Like if if I go to object, object this one, and make the intensity or make it off. So this is the illumination from the emission part. So the emission, if I make it higher, like 50, it will emit even more. So this is just a walk through and quickly how we can set up the volume shader for render shift a uh, red shift thank you and have a nice day thank you and thank you for the support